This video contains all the relevant knowledge you want to know about the world's first ever tiltrotor aircraft. The Bell Boeing B-22 Osprey is an American multi-mission, tiltrotor military aircraft with both vertical takeoff and landing, B-tall and short takeoff and landing, S-tall capabilities. It is designed to combine the functionality of a conventional helicopter with the long-range, high-speed cruise performance of a turboprop aircraft. The failure of Operation Eagle Claw, the Iran hostage rescue mission, in 1980 demonstrated to the United States military a need for a new type of aircraft that could not only take off and land vertically but also could carry combat troops and do so at speed. The U.S. Department of Defense began the J-5-10 aircraft program in 1981 under U.S. Army leadership with one three-bladed prop rotor, turboprop engine, and transmission nacelle mounted on each wingtip. Rolls-Royce T406 a D400 turboprop and turboshaft engines providing output of 6,150 horsepower each maximum at 15,000 revs per minute at sea level, 59 degree Fahrenheit, these engines enable the Osprey to travel at a maximum speed of 275 knots. It is classified as a powered lift aircraft by the Federal Aviation Administration. It is capable to carry four crew members and a total of 32 troops. Once airborne, the nacelles rotate forward 9 tight in as little as 12 seconds for horizontal flight, converting the V-22 to a more fuel-efficient, higher-speed turboprop aircraft. Pilots describe the V-22 in airplane mode as comparable to the C-130 in feel and speed. It has a ferry range of over 2,100 nautical miles. Its operational range is 1,100 nautical miles. Composite materials make up 43% of the airframe, and the prop rotor blades also use composites. For storage, the V-22's rotors fold in 90 seconds and its wing rotates to a line, front to back, with the fuselage similar to a DJI Mavic drone. The V-22 can be armed with 1.308 in caliber M240 machine gun or .50 in caliber M2 machine gun on the rear loading ramp. A 12.7mm GAU-19 three-barrel Gatling gun mounted below the nose was studied. Boss Systems developed a belly-mounted, remotely operated gun turret system. The interim defense weapon system it is remotely operated by a gunner. Targets are acquired by a separate pod using color television and forward-looking infrared imagery. In November 2014, Bell Boeing conducted self-funded weapons tests, equipping a V-22 with a pylon on the front fuselage and replacing the NRA AQ-27 EO camera with an L3 Westcam MX-15 sensor or laser designator 26 unguided Hydra 70 rockets, two guided APKWS rockets, and two Griffin B missiles were fired over five flights. Boeing is developing a roll-on or roll-off aerial refueling kit, which would give the V-22 the ability to refuel other aircraft. Having an aerial refueling capability that can be based on WASP-class amphibious assault ships would increase the F-35B's strike power, removing reliance on refueling assets solely based on large Nimitz-class aircraft carriers or land bases. The V-22 Osprey has had 13 hull-loss accidents with a total of 51 fatalities. During testing from 1991 to 2000, there were four crashes resulting in 30 fatalities. The aircraft's accident history has generated some controversy over its perceived safety issues. Development was protracted and controversial, partly because of large cost increases, some of which were caused by a requirement to fold wings and rotors to fit aboard ships. The development budget was first set at US $12.5 billion in 1986, increasing to a projected US $30 billion in 1988. By 2008, US $27 billion had been spent and another US $27.2 billion was required for planned production numbers. Between 2008 and 2011, the V-22's estimated lifetime cost grew by 61%, mostly for maintenance and support. As of 2015, although the V-22 requires more maintenance and has lower availability, 62% than traditional helicopters, it also has a lower mishap rate. The average cost per flight hour is US $9,156 whereas the Sikorsky CH-53E Super Stallion cost about $20,000 per flight hour in 2007. The 22 ownership cost was $83,000 per hour in 2013. In 2022, the Pentagon evaluated its cost per flight hour at $23,941. While technically capable of autorotation if both engines fail in helicopter mode, a safe landing is difficult. In 2005, a director of the Pentagon's testing office stated that in a loss of power while hovering below 1, 600 feet, emergency landings are not likely to be survivable. V-22 pilot Captain Justin Moon McKinney stated that, we can turn it into a plane and glide it down, just like a C-130. A complete loss of power requires both engines to fail, as one engine can power both prop rotors via interconnected drive shafts. 
Though Vortex Ring State VRS contributed to a deadly V-22 accident, flight testing found it to be less susceptible to VRS than conventional helicopters. A GAO report stated that the V-22 is less forgiving than conventional helicopters during VRS. Several test flights to explore VRS characteristics were cancelled. The USMC trains pilots in the recognition of and recovery from VRS and has instituted operational envelope limits and instrumentation to help avoid VRS conditions. The main issue with an Osprey is a gearbox flaw that can cause the tilt rotor's clutch to slip, severely impacting the safety of flight. Because of a hard clutch engagement on both sides of the Osprey, the single engine and interconnect drive system, which synchronizes the prop rotors and transfers power to a rotor in case the engine on its side fails, itself failed, according to the investigation. That's all for today, see you in another video.